Half of US jobs are automatable. Therefore, they could be done by a computer or a robot. And many people think that this could actually happen in the next 10 to 20 years. So are we screwed? So the concept of machines or computers taking our jobs is not a new thing. Even in the 1500s, there was the first knitting machine made and therefore people were scared because all of the knitters were now out of jobs. And if you look throughout history, you can kind of see this. Employment sort of went from farms and factories to cubicles and sitting at a desk kind of reminds me of that evolution shirt where it's like monkey growing, monkey growing, human, human growing, and now we're at a computer. The concept of employment changing and things having to evolve is not a new thing, but the age of technology has brought about some pretty scary statistics. Google, the company that owns the platform you're currently watching this on, has a GDP that is larger than Australia and Norway. $550 billion, which if you think about it, is a phenomenal amount of money, but it only employs 60 thousand people. Facebook is worth $270 billion and only employs 13,000 people. If we think about another company like GM, which employs more middle class labor, it's worth one tenth of what Google is worth, but it employs 250,000 people. But it's these middle class jobs that are actually going to be the first to go over to robots or automated technology. And we can of course already see that happen. Essentially, some of the most profitable companies employ the least people. So those are some pretty scary stats and I know when I have kids I'm just going to be like, learn how to code, learn how to code. And a lot of people complain that those middle class jobs have gone to places like China. So for example, they have the famous factory Foxconn, which makes, you know, all of those Apple products. And you've heard a lot about it. It's where people sleep in bunk beds and work ridiculous hours and don't get paid very much. Foxconn has a new initiative to make sure that one third of those jobs will become automated very soon. So now those jobs in China, which were stolen from Americans, are now also going to be going over to robots. And it starts to make me think also about this Trump era. He was elected a lot on the fact that he wants to make things made in America. Those jobs that are gonna come back to America are also very easily automated and very easily done by robots and will be in order for these companies to make profit. And so some theorists and people who study this think that what the solution is that everyone should have a base salary. So therefore these wealthy people, you know, at Google who own so much money can therefore share it evenly amongst the people who can't get jobs. And it's not because of their fault, it's just because of the way that the world is starting to move. Obviously there would be a more interesting way to regulate it. And maybe this is just a ridiculous idea, but it does make you think about growing up in the future in our kids' lives and how this world is going to sufficiently survive in the technological era of automated working, robots, and information. So either go get yourself a job at Apple or Google, or continue to study the things that you're passionate in and the things that are gonna allow you to grow and be a part of society, but also just think about this and talk to people and try and understand what you think the future is gonna be like and always be thinking ahead. Because again, I don't necessarily think that the world is in a place where we can just assume things are going to be okay. And in order for there to be change, we need to think about policies and think about structures that are gonna work for more people. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much for listening and we hope to see you next week for a new video.